What is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Mike. I'm a full-time media seller. I sell on Amazon and eBay. We are at the unit today for a very, very special video. We have a bunch of mystery boxes we won from an online estate sale website called ctbids.com. And we are going to open these up and believe it or not, we're going to experience these boxes for the first time together. I didn't cheat and peek or anything like that. I will kind of get into that a little bit here because somebody I know did want to cheat and peek in the boxes, but I said no. So that's going to be the video today. It might be a little, you know, it's going to be a weird one because I have two, four, six, eight, ten boxes to go through. So I'm not sure how we're going to figure it out, how we're going to cut this video up, but it might be a little bit of a longer video because these boxes are pretty full. So uh, if you're interested in being around like minded people, join the YouTube channel. It's all media sellers. we got a private discord, weekly Zoom call. We hang out every week and, you know, kind of troubleshoot problems. But without further ado, Let's get right on into these mystery boxes. Let's go. All right. So once a week, I'm always on ctbids.com. It's a website that has online estate sales and usually a lot of it's local pickups. So there's not a lot of competition. They had nine lots of mystery boxes of books. So I, I kind of max myself out. I'll pop them up here somewhere on the screen. I don't want to pay more than six dollars a box, right? How much would you pay for a box of books? unseen that are you know this size right so they're basically 16 by 12 by 12 i think so six dollars a box was my limit to preface this deb said it was a horrible idea so hopefully we can come out of here with something now there was a real beat up box that deb said hey let's open it up it's all beat up it's already open anyway so we did open this one up already it was kind of already open and uh, we, we got some pretty cool stuff out of here. We got um, somebody, maybe this is the homeowners. He actually had a print um, signed like to his name. And then it's actually signed by Ronald Reagan. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It does show like where it was taken at and everything. And he got copies made up. So we did find, you know, a picture signed by Ronald Reagan, which is pretty cool, you know. The first box, the one that was all beat up, was all astronomy books. So stuff like this, right? This thing is huge. The Amateur Astronomer's Field Guide to Deep Sky Observing. Uh, pretty cool stuff. This one does have a sold comp on eBay for like 40 bucks. We are into this overall for like $55. So basically $5 a box, give or take a little bit, just so you kind of know where we're at cost-wise. So $55, they were in the basement. It took me about an hour to carry these up from the basement into the car. I couldn't get in the driveway because somebody was loading furniture and everything. So I had to carry these boxes like three miles down the road. It was it was quite the adventure. But this is the fun part, right? Going inside of these boxes. So just the first one was the books are kind of beat up a lot of them. So nothing we can really do with that besides redonate it. But time to get into the other boxes. I'm hoping there's not. I hope they're just full of gold bars, right? Forget the books, you know? I'm on cash, cold hard cash. Anyways, let me shut up. Let's start opening these boxes and uh, seeing what's inside. Uh, let's go. All right, so this box is kind of gonna be our little table here as we go. Uh, first box up, let's see how that looks. That looks all right. You kind of can see what's inside as I go. All right, looks like it's a bunch of older stuff here. Something in a slip case. The last days of Pompeii, kind of beat up. Not worth anything, it's all nasty and moldy. Dig through this, see if we can find anything that makes any sense. A lot of this stuff seems like it's gonna be for eBay. A lot of it's gonna be, you know, no barcodes, pre-ISBN kind of stuff. Till death do us part, a true murder mystery. Here goes a pretty big book in a slipcase. Cervantes. Slipcase is beat up, but another thing to look up on the eBay. Go east, young man. Beat up books, beat up books. The Naked Ape. A zoologist study of the human animal. Self-teacher Spanish. 
Famous personalities of yesteryear. What happened to them? Who knows? Public administration. Blind date. More foreign language books. Siamese cat book. The complete works of Shakespeare, but that one is destroyed. Looks like we do have another book here in a slip case. Short stories. No idea. So it does look like most of this stuff is going to be eBay lookups. This box is pretty beat up. Everything in it seems to kind of be junk. Let's see what some of these bigger ones are over here. Maybe some of this is better. The Spake. No idea, but it's in a slipcase. It seems like a lot of these bigger ones are in slipcases. The First Night, Gilbert and Sullivan. This one's like pretty nice. It's got like uh, some kind of, I don't even know what that is. I didn't even know what that is. It's um, First Night Program. So it's a slip case and it comes with all kinds of maybe it's the actual theater oh this is the actual program i guess for the i don't know that's pretty cool that might be worth something on the ebay so let me get that put back together try to keep everything together so after this when i go looking it up my life's a little bit easier so that might probably be the most intriguing find of that box so far we do got more slip cases down here This one's like kind of, it's like the book in front of it is like stuck to the slip case. We have Lois and Clark, Journals of the Expedition, volume two. So hopefully there's another volume somewhere. The Coliseum and then junk. All right, first box. Not too, you know, no gold bars as we were hoping, but we did get a few books and slip cases. Never know what you get from those. Ugh. All right, moving on. I need a box cutter. But no box cutter. Screwdriver will have to do. This looks like a lot of stuff that's going to be going to Johnny B, his old junky trade paperbacks, if they're in decent enough shape. A lot of this stuff is, I mean, they're not in terrible shape. Mafia Enforcer. Here you go. Stereo Record and Cassette Guide. Kinds of little tiny books here, booklets, thesaurus. Let's see what else we got in here. Got some bigger books again down here in the bottom. Encyclopedia of video cassettes again. We'd love to get your comments, comments, and suggestions. John Sebastian Bach, organ music, uh, some bigger, here goes a pretty cool one. Newark Mellow Jackets, class of 1960. Is it a yearbook or what? I don't even know what it, maybe it looks like some kind of like, I don't know, because it's got, some people passed away. It's got other people's number. Maybe it's like some kind of Rolodex for the graduating class. That's pretty that's pretty weird. Never seen one like that. Those who came before. A lot of big tech, like textbook looking books in here. So this one kind of sucks too. I'm going to have my work cut out getting rid of a lot of this stuff. So 
that'll be fun. But that comes with the adventure of buying stuff where you don't know what you're getting. All right, next up we have the power look. Egon von Furstenberg. English literacy. What else do we have in here? A bunch of gardening books. Ain't gonna do me no good. The nude male, a perspective. It seems like a bunch of like larger books. This seems like it's the actual Groves Dictionary Music and Musicians. Pretty sure they probably have every volume here it looks like so maybe that'll be worth something on ebay but other than that it's just larger What's this quips and cranks 1961 what even is this editor-in-chief contents fresh is it a yearbook yes a yearbook so yearbook, usually you can always get something out of these on eBay. They just take a little bit to sell. So that's one we could definitely can list and sell. Overall, though, honestly, I'm not impressed so far. If I'm being straight up with you, could be better. Moving on. Ugh. Last one in this stack. Need my handy dandy box cutter. Come on. Oh, this one's got packing paper in it. I'm scared to lift up this packing paper. I'm waiting to come across a rat or something. Really a pretty cool uh going with the wind the ultimate pictorial treasury might be worth something going with the wind stuff always has a market Let's see what else we got going on in here english 2020 no idea photography buy a New, this is a record. Let's see what this record is. At least I think it is. We have Warner Brothers Requiem for the Masses. And we got The Sound of Surf and then Carpenters for All We Know. No idea if these are anything worth anything. I'll have to look those up. Let's see what else we got in here. Here goes like a pretty big book. Yankee Nomad, a photographic odyssey. Lots of big books. Whoever's house this was definitely has a, a lot of coffee table books. Miracle of Philadelphia. Hey, born and raised. Lots of little junk. Lot more little junk. Anything else in here? We got a Bible. And everything else just looks like run of the mill stuff. All right, so that box was, it was all right. We got that going with the wind one. Uh, some other ones we got to look up, but I mean, it could have been better. It could have been worse. We are moving right along here. is so dusty i should have wore a mask Ugh. runner's handbook cds everywhere destroyed book cds everywhere yeah this box looks pretty terrible 
Not seeing anything that exciting. Let me dig in a little bit, see if something jumps out at me. This book is huge. No, this seems like it's all, all junk. We are just moving right along. On to the next one. All right. Musical theater book. Give yourself credit. The art of borrowing. <laughs> Don't borrow money to start a used media business. Trust me. Looks like we got some kind of set in this one at least. Let's see what set we have. Life Library of Photography. Could be worth something. I mean, there are quite a few in here, so hopefully it is. Recoup some of our money back on that. Uh, what do we got here? Romantic and Modern Violin Concertos. So some older mu musical books. Hopefully those will be worth it. This could be a good box with that set. All right. So last one I'm going to show you guys. And then I will show you everything that was worth it in the wrap up. I only have like three more sitting over there. So here goes more of those uh, Time Life books, 1973 edition. So I'll look these up on eBay, see if it's worth it. Go from there. Another book in a slipcase. Lots of books in slipcase. And usually the slipcase books do pretty well because a lot of them don't have the slipcases. Um, the Calculus with Analytical geometry more art of photography clearly this person was into art heavily and here goes another one in a slipcase i mean yeah the slipcase isn't in great condition but the slipcase definitely you know helps with the value of this kind of stuff what we got here the torch has passed no idea the great book of wine this thing is huge here you go. The Love of Cats. Art, art, Russia slipcase down there. All right, so I'm gonna look some of this stuff up, kind of give you guys some of the better highlights. I did pick some things up from the cash and carry sale in this bag, so I will cover those. But uh, we got a few more boxes. I gotta start getting this all cleaned up, looking things up and clearing out the storage unit. So I'll see you guys with uh, everything that was worth it. Bye-bye. All right, we made it through everything. Those last three boxes actually were probably the better boxes. So I'm not gonna like, uh, I'm not gonna pop anything up on the screen here, but I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff we got out of this. It definitely was worth the $55 in my opinion. Um, first up we have, I wasn't alive when this happened, but uh, the Dallas Times Herald, the Kennedy assassination, he's got all of the papers um, the day of, the day after. So this is going to be something I'll sell on eBay. So that was a pretty cool find. He also has the Washington Post when Nixon resigned. So this is something else I will sell as well. So. That was a pretty cool, you know, historical find. So, I mean, I'll get a little bit out of these at least. All right. He was a photographer. Um, we have Spock from Star Trek. OG signature here, black and white photo. I'm going to send this out to Johnny B. He's a big Trekkie. Um, I don't pay him nothing for doing the podcast. So this can uh, cover the cost of future podcasts. So that's pretty cool that it's going to, you know, somebody I know. So that was pretty cool. Also, we have FBI documents. This guy requested FBI documents uh, regarding an old case. There actually is the whole, I have everything pertaining to the, the case. 
Uh, I can't get into it because it's kind of personal details about different stuff, but just it's it's pretty cool, pretty weird stuff, you know. Uh, so that was a cool find. What else do we have? We have a letter. I mean, look how nice people used to be able to handwrite. Like this looks like it's almost printed out. Uh, he was a nurse. The the guy's belongings. He was a he was a nurse. Uh, his profession, you know, degree, college, all that stuff. And uh, somebody wrote him a letter, you know, thanking him for the great job they did with their family member. So that was pretty cool. You know, lots of like personal items, things like that. Nothing of value for me, but it's just cool to see and kind of look at. We also have some old school uh, Kramer Books and Afterwards, a cafe. 1517 Connecticut Ave, Washington, D.C. Some old school, you know, kind of bookmarks things like that they even have their favorites on the back here um just different books i guess Let's see if i can get it to focus for you ah it doesn't want to focus we also have another one paperback exchange just as local to me in harrisburg um local bookstore we also have his resume from, uh, I don't even know what year this is. 1991 resume, pretty cool. Uh, case studies from the hospital he worked at. I think I already, I already showed you guys a Ronald Reagan signed piece. Um, I won't show that. I ain't gonna show that. Like I said, a lot of personal stuff I will show you a book that I know was, this is a hundred plus dollar profit book on Amazon. I have no idea what it's about. Wisconsin death trip. I have no idea. Um, I don't know, but it's a hundred plus dollars profit on Amazon. It sells pretty well. So that, that, you know, paid for everything right there. And probably the more mysterious find of the whole lot was a postage stamp album this thing is huge and it is full of stamps so let me see here all right we'll just i'll kind of try to show you this one 1948 uh you see the ones are you know they he actually has the actual stamps in here this whole thing is kind of full with stamps i don't know anything about stamps so what am i going to do right Am I going to look up all 30,000 of these stamps that are in this thing? No. So you won't see it. I mean, you will see it in this video because I'm going to take this to a local stamp guy, right? I feel like I just feel like I'm on an episode of like Pawn Stars or Storage Wars or something where it's like, I don't know how much this is worth. Let me go talk to my guy. Well, I don't have a guy for stamps, but I did Google it and there's a, a local coin and stamp dealer uh, by me. So I'm going to take this over there. Um, I'll probably pop up how much if i got anything for it or kind of a little update here because this video won't be out until next week but i'm going to take this huge stamp album some of these stamps are from the 1800s um yeah i know if i piece them out i can make more money myself well listen I, <laughs> i'll be here for 10 years listing these stamps there's so many in here so i'm going to take it to the dealer see what they say overall it was crazy i mean the last three boxes, of course, the ones I didn't record were the best ones. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Would I do it again at $6 a box? Yes. Would Deb yell at me? Yes. But it is what it is, right? That's why we do it. The thrill of the hunt. You know, it's, it's exciting when you're opening up boxes, books, photo albums. Like that Spock photo was just in one of his photo albums. He traveled a lot, took a lot of pictures, was real big into photography. So... I mean, it's just, it's kind of cool to see kind of stuff like this. And, you know, it feels kind of weird, like making money from people's stuff. But I guess, you know, that's what we do overall, right? It's just the medium is usually the thrift store. You're not getting it directly from the person's house. So hopefully, you know, this made us a, I don't even know. If I had a guess, hopefully it made us like a hundred bucks. So, and that'll pay for everything and, and all the heavy lifting I had to do. But overall, we got quite a few books for Amazon, uh, quite a few things for eBay as well. I can't complain about it. It was a fun time. As always, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more used book videos. Bye-bye.